Hi there, Toy here, and today I think I'm going to do a movie review. <laughs> so it has been, I don't even know how many months since I've done an actual movie review, and I've seen quite a few movies. And so since I've never been one to go back and backtrack and, you know, talk about the stuff that I've missed, I'm just going to focus on the here and now. So I recently saw The Shape of Water and <laughs> it was in a, uh, I guess, I don't know if it's had a full release. I, I saw it in a, in a theater, an old theater in Norfolk. And um, it's usually where they show like the limited release films. So I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> after the Golden Globes, it was, it, I think it won, I know the director won the Golden Globe for like best director. That director is Guillermo del Toro, and my husband and I have seen a lot of his other films. Some of them we really, really liked, and some of them have been, you know, a little. <laughs> um, I think his most critically acclaimed film to date has, is Penn's Labyrinth until this movie. He did, like, I think he did the Hellboy movies and stuff, which I, I have some theories. <laughs> so anyway, we were really you know, excited when we saw that he won that award. We were already kind of curious about the movie, but we really didn't know a whole lot about it. I don't know if, I don't really watch that much TV, so I don't know if I missed the boat, if he missed the boat, but I just feel like the little teaser that I saw didn't really explain what the movie was about. But I'm sure there's going to be people, you know, going out to see it after the award show because it won stuff. But we were already interested in it. Needless to say, it was... A beautifully shot movie. I mean, I understand why he won the award for best director. Cinematography was great. Um, whoever did the costumes, they did a wonderful job. All the actors, I feel like, were, were good. I mean, everybody's performance was wonderful. Octavia was wonderful. Um, the woman in the lead role, uh, of course, I can't remember her name right now. I could look it up. I should have been prepared. Something Hawkins, I believe. Watch me be totally off. The storyline basically goes that some government agency, they don't really say in the movie, it's it's military affiliate affiliated, and they've captured a creature from the Amazon. And basically, <laughs> if you're all familiar, oh, her name was Sally Hawkins. So I was right. Uh, she did a great job. Anyway, so they've ca captured this um, creature, and he, he kind of looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon, if you've seen that old movie. But more specifically, if you are at all familiar with Guillermo del Toro's work, he had a creature in the Pan's Labyrinth movie that later uh, his character from Hellboy, Abe Sapien, kind of looked like that character. And I say kind of because he kind of looked like. But this character in The Shape of Water looks like Abe Sapien. I mean, actually, I'm going to get into that a little bit more. So anyway, the story is they've captured this creature from the Amazon and they're like trying to study it. They want to, of course, exploit it. This is in like, I think this is happening in the 60s. Um, the civil rights movement is happening. You can tell by what's going on on like the television that they're watching that um, there's turmoil in the country. There's still this divide between black and white. There's a homosexual character. And you can see there's kind of an injustice to him too. So there's some undertone sto stuff going on. And so this woman played by Sally Hawkins, she's mute. And she is able to communicate with this creature just by showing him a little bit of compassion. And so they form this bond. And so I'm not gonna go into everything that happens, but I mean, it's just not what I expected it to be because I really didn't know what it was. So it's, it's kind of like a love story, but it's, it's more than that. There's definitely this kind of message that the movie is teaching about people looking beyond the physical to accept people for what they are uh, uh, making a person who maybe can't talk or maybe can't walk or maybe can't see even though they are lacking something they're still a whole person and so and I think that's kind of you know the message that this creature 
that's clearly not human can still have some humanity in in the in them or whatever so it was a really kind of a deep movie if you you know really focus in on all that kind of stuff but really it was kind of a an exciting film to watch i thought it was gonna be kind of a slow low but it really wasn't it was it was and it, it was you know in a kind of a, a fast pace especially once things started happening i'll just go ahead and say that there were several things that happened in the movie that i was not prepared to see and it was a little bit disturbing it was a very weird movie but it was for for me i don't think it was a bad movie i i'm definitely glad i saw it there's other movies that i've seen where i feel like i'm glad i saw them but i'll never watch them again i feel like after getting over the initial shock i could watch this movie again i'm not saying that i will but i could i i don't think this is a movie that i'm gonna recommend to a lot of people just kind of off the fly it's more of a i'm gonna ask them a series of questions based on how those questions go, then I might recommend this movie. It's just, I don't think it's for everyone, but it's a really good movie. I mean, if you're open to it. So here, here, here's the thing about the theories. So my husband, I guess he did some Googling and stuff. And so people have different theories about what the story really is. I guess someone either wrote an article or posted somewhere where the director himself Guillermo says that this is supposed to be a beauty and the beast story um I don't buy that one bit don't get me wrong not that the chick isn't pretty or that he isn't ugly in the very physical sense but I this didn't feel like a beauty and the beast story to me but you know to each his own it I it was I just felt like there was something that the director and maybe the writer were trying to convey and they just didn't want to say that so people would take the movie seriously like i said the character in this movie looks like another character from a guillermo del toro movie called abe sapien and some people say that this is like a unofficial prequel to the hellboy movies telling the story of abe sapien but i don't think so um, if I'm going to get my geek on right now, I would say that this is the story of Ape Sapien's parents, which is kind of gross because that means this is probably <laughs> the story of his conception <laughs> because, and again, I'm not super geek here, so I could be totally wrong, but I always thought that the character of Ape Sapien was supposed to be half human. And if that was the case, this would be the perfect story to explain how he came about. Regardless, the director has denied that this movie has any association with his Hellboy or any previous films. And for me, I think that's a little, that's just silly. I mean, come on, dude. You, you clearly, the character looks so much like your other character. But, you know, it could have been a smart move. People, especially the critics, don't give a lot of love to the Hellboy series. So he may not have wanted this to be associated with it in any way, shape or form. I mean, the man just won a Golden Globe for it. So maybe a few years down the road, he'll come out and say, you know what, this is associated with that story. Maybe he won't, I don't know. Regardless, if you're at all interested in The Shape of Water, please know that there is some disturbing stuff in it. I don't, I don't want to like give people the wrong impression. This isn't like an explicit film. This isn't a graphic film. You know, it's not about shock value. I feel like a lot of films are just, they do things to just be like shock value. That's not what this movie does, but it does do some weird things that you may not be expecting to see. So um, there is some nudity in the film, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, so that that's something but again like I said this isn't like a profane or a graphic or vulgar film or anything like that anyway it's a very beautiful film it's a very um, intense film but it's a, also a very weird film so take that as you will um, it's been a long time since I've done a movie review I'm actually thinking about setting up an IMDB profile and start actually writing my reviews don't hold that to hold me to that because i'm not gonna write up this review i'm just doing the video review so if out of four out of five stars i would give the shape of water a four and a half stars super weird movie not for everyone but i enjoyed it so that's all i have for now bye bye